Decoding Pi Do in English. Hey everyone, today we're going to unravel the meaning of the phrases Pi Do in English. You might have heard it while watching cooking shows or reading recipes. Let's dive in to understand what it really means and how it's used in different contexts. Remember, Knowing phrases like this can help enhance your English vocabulary, especially if you're interested in culinary arts. Before understanding pie dough, it's important to understand what a pie is. A pie is a baked dish usually made of a pastry dough casing that contains a filling of various sweet or savory ingredients. They can be both sweet, like apple pie, or savory, like a chicken pot pie. Now, let's focus on the phrase, pie dough. The word dough refers to a mixture that consists mainly of flour and water and is used for baking. When you combine the words, pie, and dough, it refers to the specific dough used to make the crust of the pie. It's the foundation upon which all types of pies are built. Pie dough is crucial in baking. A good pie dough results in a flaky and crispy crust, which is often the best part of a pie for many people. The right consistency, ingredients, and method of preparing the dough can significantly impact the final product. Therefore, many bakers have their secret recipe or method to make the perfect pie dough. There are several variations of pie dough, depending on the ingredients and methods used. Some might include sugar for sweet pies, while others might include savory herbs for savory pies. Some common types include 1. Short crust pastry. A simple dough made with flour, fat, and water. 2. Pate sucre. A sweet crust typically used for tarts and filled with sweet fillings. 3. Pate brise, a rich, flaky dough, often used for quiches. It's essential to choose the right type of dough for the pie you're making to get the best results. And there you have it, the meaning and significance of pie dough in English. Next time you come across this term, whether in a recipe or a conversation, you'll know exactly what it means. Happy baking and always remember, Understanding these small nuances in a language can make your learning journey fun and exciting. Cheers!